Yes, he does. I'm struggling with a problem. It's becoming, um, what's the word? Uh, not good. He and I have been married now for Probably. a couple years. I'd say it's good about maybe six days, five days a week. Yes, my father has a problem. A problem is an understatement. Because uh, he just kind of sits there makes noises. I wake up during the night to pee. And I walk back to the bed and it's just me and the dog. Sometimes, life can seem like a dream. The perfect job. The perfect family. The perfect life. But sometimes, that dream can become a nightmare. It's messing with the house. Yeah. It's a feud. Some could say it's a family feud. It's annoying. It's like drinking, but uh, he doesn't do that. We had to ask ourselves, what could this man, this lovely, lovely brown man, be doing that's so horrible? Fraser Ford has a problem of sleeping on the couch. He falls asleep on the couch. His problem is sleeping on the couch for as long as I've known him. Every single. We here at ID don't take these claims lightly, so we asked the Ford family to provide photographic evidence, and that they did. Now, given the gravity of the situation, we thought it would be best to bring in a specialist in the matter. My name is uh, Cornelius Snicklefritz. My job is a uh, often sought after job in the community. It's to study the sleeping patterns of the black man. Fraser is a special case though. Fraser sleeps constantly while maintaining a life. I've never seen anything like it. He has a job, he has a wife, he has a family, and he sleeps like he's on heroin. What I've noticed in my studies is there's, there's a direct correlation between the couch and his unconsciousness. <sighs> Multiplied by the amount of detective television he's watched. <laughs> Divided by how angry Darla is at him that night. <sighs> Doubled by how many children are in the room, but then divided by how exhausting his day was at work. Tripled by how many chicken patties he had to warm in the oven. What I found fascinating, the most fascinating, was the sound, the sound that he produces while he snores. Sounds like a pig trying to cough up an apple. As we come to the end, we wanted to ask Darla, the wife of the suspect, if there was one thing she could say to help him, what would she say? Just know that I don't like to sleep alone. The dog is just not the same. He's just so much hairier. She won't sleep well when there's not a big, handsome black man in the bed. Why? Why do you do this to us? Can't cut the scene now. <laughs> <laughs>